to make sure that we can be in as many schools as we can be. And all our programs have an empowering element to it. And so what we uh, do with selecting this particular group of girls is to make sure that they all have gone through the company program and when they go through the company program and they've succeeded in writing us an annual report that shows how they, they've thought about it. Now the girl officers in each, so each company selects five officers amongst themselves, the CEO, the CFO, the chief marketing person, production manager, HR manager, the people who the students themselves have elected to be their officers obviously have already shown some leadership ability mm -hmm. in being selected. We now ask them to uh, write an essay as to why you should be selected to be part of lead camp this year. And the girls that write outstanding essays, that have outstanding academic records in their school, they have recommendations from their teachers and junior achievement volunteers, they are the ones that we select, say, okay, okay you're all rounder, please come to the camp. So it, before selection, you must get, your grades must be up there. Yes. You must get approval from the school. Yes. You must get recommendations from the volunteers. Yes. You must get approval from your colleagues. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's, not approval from your colleagues, no, no, but they've elected you to yes, office. Yes. Um, I mean, the, the elected you means you have their approval. Yes. So that sounds like tough criteria. It's tough, but we're, we remember we're reaching over 600,000 students and it's a camp for 50 girls. So we have to make sure that, in order, and we want the girls to come from everywhere that we have programs. So what happens if you have um, all these 1,000 schools, let's just say 1,000 schools, all of them, writing very good essays, getting all these approvals, how do you now pick the 50? <laughs> <laughs> we, look at, we look at the essays. I mean, the essays are very powerful because you can tell who, whose teacher has helped them to write it and who has written it from a, a very deep place. I mean, one of the uh, sessions we did was self-awareness uh, the very first day, and I told them to speak about experiences and to coach each other. And I said it must be the type of experiences where you can raise up your hand and share with the room because it's so personal to you. These are the essays that we're looking at because we know that it's come from a place of deep longing that this is the impact I want to make in the world and we can read it. It's not necessarily the best English, but we're looking at the leadership ability and the passion. And so it comes across usually. And then, of course, some of them, the teachers are like, no, this girl from the from the get-go, the volunteers, because the, our, all our programs are taught by volunteers. There's no way we can reach 600,000 plus by ourselves. And so the volunteers are very key in helping us select. So just as uh, a volunteer goes in and teaches 30 students, they know by the end of the 14 or 15 weeks that they spent with them that this one mm. is going somewhere. We really need to invest in this one. Although you're beyond um, just sponsoring, You've watched these 50 girls this one week. Mm. What would you say about what they are taking out of here and where, what impact are, they, are you expecting to see them make where they're going to? So in terms of um, what they're taking away, um, one of the things that happened last year um, was we met the girls during the week and we were blown away by what we experienced. So when I say we, I mean the women of Union Bank. We've got, um, internally, we've got a, an community for all the women called the WeHub, Hub. And what the WeHub Hub does is the women of Union Bank came together and decided, you know, we need to network more, create mentoring relationships in-house. So we created this community. Um, and once we met the girls last year, because the girls came in, you know, we have um, field trip field trip days, we have visioning sessions, and our women participate in these sessions with the girls. So we had met them during the week. And we knew that we couldn't we couldn't just sever that relationship and it would be a bye-bye. So we then created um, mentoring relationships. So we have 50 women from within our bank mentoring the 50 girls from last year. Mm. And we're going to do the same this year. So in terms of impact, um, we want to ensure that the women that we have chosen are able to guide these girls past secondary school, into uni, um, possibly even further. These are not formal relationships, they're, they're semi-formal, um, and the women are, are just there to ensure that they've started out well, let's try to help them continue, continue this 
this journey properly. So in terms of impact, I mean, it would impact the girls, it impacts our women, um, our relationship with junior achievement, um, and all the communities that these girls go out into. So um, and huge. And these huge. ideas that some of them are generating, mm -hmm. are you looking to also further sponsor this idea to come to, to reality? Um, okay, uh, tricky question. At this stage, <laughs> at this stage, um, at this stage um, I, I, I would say um, it depends. And I say that because still within the bank, um, we're, we're very big on innovation. And um, one of the things that we're doing this year is we have an innovation challenge working um, in conjunction with uh, the co-creation hub. Um, and what it, what it is, is um, we've thrown out, um, we've opened this competition in, uh, to entrepreneurs and we said, listen, using technology, come up with ideas. So it's very possible that in a few years, Union Bank will be running yet another competition and one of these ideas would come through that um, channel. And of course, at that point, we would be supporting and, and sponsoring and, and, okay. and everything else that goes with it. So. Aisha and Irene, um, we're about to wind down. So if you would talk to your colleagues, your friends, your classmates, your parents, what would you tell them about your experience? Maybe you look at the camera and tell Okay. Tell camera. About my experience, I'm so glad I came here because originally when I wrote the essay, I was like, I don't, it's not really vital for me right now. It's just a camp like any other camp. But the thing that's so special about this camp is that the impact you gain from the women is so inspiring because they come from different aspects. Of like the creative field, the technological field, and you can find your way to fit in with what your passion is. For me, I like to draw, but that doesn't mean I'll become an artist because some of them, they like to do, they studied something, but they went to something else. That's to show the and how versatile it is when you grow up. And not all of them were born rich. They, they were born with plastic spoons in their mouth, but they ended up becoming something out of, that inspires all of us to continue with what we're doing and hard, and hard work is like vital in everything we do. Irene? For me, if my dad is watching this now, I really want to say thank you for letting me come. <laughs> because I'm very happy I came. I've learned a lot. And to my fellow friends watching me out there, you might not be here, but there's something inside of you that is just waiting. To, it's going to bloom out. <laughs> There's something inside of you there. You might face challenges, you face problems, definitely. But you have to be confident and keep on moving. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Keep on moving. Keep and it. so, Jan is also moving. Mm -hmm. So what should we expect next? So the way that we operate is that we get volunteers from all walks of life, we train them and we send them into classrooms. You've seen the impact some of our programs have today. If you want this impact to uh, multiply, please call Junior Achievement. Um, we're at www.ja-nigeria.org and volunteer. Go on the website, sign up to volunteer. If you're a company, sign up to sponsor us and do more impact in the world. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on this morning. We've been having a chat with the lead camp participants, Irene Oguti May and Aisha Jide. Thank you for coming. Thank and you. also the Special Project and Sustainability Union Bank. Ololade Awu Bade and Executive Director, Junior Achievement Nigeria, Simisola Mwokogo. Just for you, you uh, yes, yes, I wanted to ask, uh, what's the minimum age to join this lead camp? Well, the, the age... No, that's a lead camp. Then you also tell us the minimum age to be a volunteer, if there's a minimum or maximum. There's so. no minimum or maximum age. Anyone who's willing to impact children is welcome to be a volunteer. Okay. Um, the lead camp, again, is for SS2 students. So it's really, I think we have a range between 14 18, and yes. 18 is the oldest person and 14 is the youngest person. Right. So senior secondary school students. Thank okay, you. thank you all thank for coming. And Sunrise will go on another break. I'll be we'll back. Be back.